Hey guys, welcome back to Spotlight for the spring semester of 2018. I'm Anna Clancy. We have a great show lined up for you, so let's get started. day? A great place to go for some pet therapy is highlighted in this week's Student Spotlight. Our very own Nate Colosimo and fellow KU students have the story. We're at Your Pet Experts at the Berkshire Mall. It's been here since 1972 and it's just the perfect place because it's it's in an area where it gets a lot of foot traffic. It's a pet store that carries puppies and um, birds, reptiles, rodents, all the supplies that are needed. Our overall mission is to provide quality, health, and to educate them because that's the big thing is that the animals end up in rescues. Uh, right now we have another store that we just opened in Harrisburg that is a rescue store specifically. So we basically just played on what was already here and stepped up our quality in our game to make sure that it was clean, fun, and good animals. Our puppies are our thing. They're what we do. We make sure that our dogs come from really good quality breeders and we do go out and check the facilities every year and so I think we corner the market on, on good healthy puppies. We get them out for exercise um, and rotate them every half an hour so that's a big thing is the rotating of the puppies to make sure that they get the exercise that they need and the exposure and socialization. We do get puppies out for everybody who asks so that way they are properly socialized. Our customers are very much just everyone in the community, I would say, from ages as young as they could be walking to get in here to um, very old. They choose us because we have been here for so long and from 1972 on. We have a very good reputation through this community and a lot of our business comes from word of mouth, so one person will get a good puppy and they'll go home and tell all their friends and family and neighbors and then they all come in. For the future of the business, I see that um, we will continue pretty much the way we are, possibly getting a little bit more into the rescue scene. So we'll be doing a mix of some really good purebred dogs and also doing some rescue. Wow, wasn't that a treat? If you want to go visit these animals yourself, head on over to Your Pet Experts at the Berkshire Mall. We'll be right back after these messages. It's on us to stop sexual assault. It's on us to be more than a bystander. Not look the other way if we see something bad happening. Not give our friends a pass. Create an environment where women feel and are safe. It's on us to stand up to those who tell us it's not our business. Hold our friends accountable for their actions. It's on us, the Golden Bear community, to stop sexual assault. I took the pledge, and you can too, at itsonus.org. In this edition of Taste of the Week, we check out a fan favorite food spot with ice cream so good it'll make you shake, rattle, and roll. Joe Malisi takes us over to Pop's Malt Shop for an inside scoop. Right on Main Street lies a popular food place that puts the shake back in milkshake. 
Pops Malt Shop was opened in 2004 by owner Joel Seidel. We're here about 14 years, and before that, I started a small coffee shop, which was downstairs. And I had that coffee shop for about two years, and then I just got a small tabletop soft serve ice cream machine. And in six months, that little soft serve ice cream machine was outselling everything else I did. So I knew Kutztown needed an ice cream shop. The aesthetic of a 50s malt shop is one that customers have loved ever since its beginning. It's, it's very comfy, honestly. They have uh, little checkered boards and stuff like that that you see like a Cracker Barrel and again adds that homey feel. Um, I think it makes coming to work more fun because it's a fun environment. Like it's not a normal restaurant. It looks pink <laughs> and fun. Pop serves all their original items with the addition of things like burgers, chicken baskets, panini sandwiches, and more ice cream than ever before. Pops now serves over 30 hand-dipped flavors to use for their cones, shakes, and sundaes, with some flavors being completely vegan. I'm spoiled. I can pick anything I want. So I eat stuff all the time. I'm very basic. I just have a tendency to go to cookies and cream, but Milky Way is really good. Um, yeah, we just got a new one, which is Cookie Monster, which is blue, and that turned out to be, that's our number one seller right now. Next time you need some good ice cream or want a throwback change of scenery, Pops Malt Shop on Main Street is the perfect place for you. Wow, I got hungry just watching that. Thanks for the sweet treat, Joe. We'll be right back after this commercial break. After every Golden Bears home game, you can save big on the following Monday. For every touchdown the Golden Bears score, shoppers can save 5% on KU Apparel. That's up to 40% in savings. No matter if it's win or lose, you can expect to save at least 15% on KU Apparel. Make sure to take advantage of the Paw Pucks discount by visiting the KU Campus Store, Dixon Marketplace, or online at KUBStore.com. Stay up to date after each game, follow the KU Campus Store on Facebook or Twitter. Golden Ticket is back with the record-shattering movie, Black Panther. Owen and Joe welcome you to Wakanda with this great review. Step into the spotlight. Hello and welcome to Golden Ticket. I'm Owen Volker. And I'm Joe Malisi. I'll be filling in for Cole this week. And today we are reviewing Black Panther, taking place in the African nation of Wakanda, a utopia hidden off from the rest of the world. T'Challa must return to this country to take back his throne, but sees new unforeseen threats. And I gotta say, I love this movie. I thought it was great. Uh, the visuals and music were amazing and the characters were the best part about it. Yeah, there was a lot going on uh, visually and I think it hits all the marks just right. Um, I think Michael B. Jordan was a great villain. Uh, I think that he was paced really well, uh, and overall it was just really fun to watch. I would say that a lot of the characters in movies are great. They're well thought out, they're well written, and had a lot of dimensions, including uh, the Chala sister Shuri, his rival in Baku. They're all great characters, and uh, I enjoyed seeing them on screen. Thank you, Nakia. It is so good to have you back with us. Take her to the river province to prepare her for the ceremony. Yes, General. Did he freeze? Like an antelope in headlights. <laughs> Are you finished? Michael B. Jordan as Killmonger is one of the best villains I've seen in a long time. You really emphasized with him, you really understood where he was coming from, and you kind of agreed with him in some points. Yeah, I think Michael B. Jordan did a great portrayal of Killmonger. Um, he was able to get a crowd rallying behind him, even though he was a villain. He made a lot of valid points. <laughs> <laughs> Shuri! Brother! Turn on the train on the bottom track. The stabilizer won't activate your suit. You won't have protection. Neither will he. Going into some negative things, 
I felt the first act was uh, a little weirdly paced. Yeah, the, the first half was definitely uh, took a slower route, which um, caused the second half to be a lot faster, which is a shame because that's where a lot of the payoffs are. But other than that, it's hard to find many flaws in this movie. I thought Ryan Coogler did a great job. Overall, I'd say it's one of the best movies in this year and definitely one of the top MCU movies. And I would give it five Panthers out of five. I'm going to give it four Panthers out of five because I'm excited to see what's, uh, what's in store for Infinity War. Well, thanks for watching. I'm Owen Volkert. And I'm Joe Malisi. And we're kind of forever. Well, the cat is out of the bag. They sure convinced me to go see that movie. Thanks for tuning in to the season premiere of Spotlight. I'm Anna Clancy. We'll see you next time.